Hey guys, so I'm here today to film a, another empties video for you. I'm like obsessed with these videos now. My little bin is so full and I have four large products to show you. I've used so much up in two months. So I've decided that I'm going to do these every two months. I did one in February, one in April, and then now this one's for May and June. So I'm going to start with the big stuff. Um, the first thing I finished up was this can of Tresemme... Mega Firm Control Freeze Hold Hairspray. I've had this for probably like a year. I used it every time I put my hair in a top knot. I used to do really, really tight top knots, so I would always use it to like silk up my hair and like make sure my bun stayed in place. And now I wear a loser top knot, so I still used it. But yeah, this is, I finished this I think last month. It's a good hairspray, but I repurchased, or I mean I purchased uh, Alnet. I also finished this Got To Be Rockin' It Dry Shampoo. This is, I think, my second or third one of these. I really like this dry shampoo, but I found the Dove one, which I like more, so I might, I may or may not repurchase that. Um, I finished up this scrub. It's the Naturally You Gentle Exfoliating Scrub. It looks like this. The smell is herbal mint. It's 98% natural. I really liked it. It was a really... It smells really good. It was a really good scrub. I got this on clearance for $2.94, so, like, how do you beat that? You can't. So I don't know where it's carried. I'm going to guess places like Whole Foods and Shoppers probably carry it. But, yeah, I really liked this scrub. I would probably repurchase it, but I'm just at, like, a phase in my life right now where I want to just try all new stuff because I've never really tried exfoliators or other products before. So some at some point down the line I may repurchase it, but I don't know. The last large item I finished was this Pantene Silver Expressions Conditioner. I love this conditioner, and not for what it's, I'm supposed to love it for. I bought this because my hair was a little bit brassy when I got it done. It smells so good. And I wanted to kind of cut down on the brassiness. You can see in the lid here, it's like a super purple conditioner. I don't think it helps the brassiness in my hair at all. I have the shampoo and the conditioner. But this is just, a, I think because it's silver expression, I think it's technically for, like, older women's hair. And so I guess, you know, the older, the longer you've lived on this earth, probably the more you've damaged your hair. So this is just such a good con deep conditioner. I really loved it. And then I have this bin. I'm going to start with all the face masks because... I love face masks. So the first one I finished up was this Balea Hydrating Face Mask. You get these at Shoppers. I believe they're 3 for $5, which is a good deal. Um, I don't love the Balea face masks. I probably wouldn't repurchase them. They're like, okay. Um, I just had one use of this mask left up. Again, these are good for about two uses, so I like to use them once and then put them in a little Ziploc baggie. Um, so yeah, it was an okay face mask. Meh. <coughs> um, and then I finished up two of the Freeman's masks. The first one, which is my favorite, is the peel-off cucumber mask. I love this. I will probably repurchase this in the large size. There's just something about being able to peel it off your face that's fantastic, and it's super affordable. These little packages are $1.44, and then I believe the large bottles are like $4. I also finished the beautiful facial clay mask in avocado and oatmeal. I really liked this as well. I want to try the chocolate strawberry one and some of their other clay masks before I decide if I want to purchase it or not, but I'm obsessed with masks right now. This one's supposed to purge your pores, which I love because most of my masks are like hydrating or exfoliating. I don't have anything that's like a deep, like get everything out of my face kind of mask, and that's what I like these ones for. And the last mask I finished up is this um, pomegranate exfoliating mask from Murad. This is a very interesting mask. If you buy this and it comes in a package of six little like you get six of these little containers. This one little package lasted me three face masks so if you think about it it's six packages for $22 and you're getting three uses out of each mask so that's 18 masks and then so it's like a dollar 25 a mask which is a great deal which is cheaper than most other things at Sephora. Um, you basically spread it all over your face. It's a clear mask. It doesn't look like your face is shiny. You let it sit for 15 to 10 to 15 minutes. I think it's just 5 to 10 minutes, but I leave it set until basically it's dry, and then you rinse it off, and it makes your skin feel super smooth. I find ex I don't like exfoliating masks as much because I just feel like they don't do as much. I mean, I'm sure they do exfoliate and kind of remove the gunk from my face, but it's just not as fun as, like, an actual, like, rubbing an exfoliator into your face. I don't know. I'm crazy, but I do like the mask. It did what it's supposed to do. I'm just nuts. 
Um, I have two mascaras in here. The first one is the Marcel Extension Plus Mascara. I really, I didn't even finish this. I don't think it just like got bad. Oh yeah, it smells nasty. Um, basically, I used this. I like it. It's a lengthening and curling mascara. It looked okay on my lashes, but it flaked on me because I have really watery eyes and I'm really rough on my eyes. So like, it's not the mascara's fault. I've heard great things about this mascara. People love this mascara, but... I'm just like have become like a waterproof mascara kind of a girl so I've just like far gone of all other mascaras. The next mascara is the Benefit Bad Gal. It's just a little sample I had um, that I was finishing up. I just really, again, I didn't use this mascara very much. Yep, it smells raunchy. I just don't like it. It has like a very large brush. Oh, if I wasn't so... There we go. It has a very large brush. And it's like a very like matte kind of black finish. I just think it does nothing for my lashes. I've heard that if you have long and like nice lashes, you'll love this because you, it's kind of the kind of mascara that works well if you have nice lashes. But someone like me that just has crappy lashes, I much prefer something like the They're Real mascara, which is like the next sample that I'm going to be trying out. Well, I tried it out before, but I want to try it out again. I might post a review on it, I think. Um, and then I think everything else is skincare. Oh, no, there's one other makeup thing. Um, I finished up my Bobbi Brown corrector, like literally like licked the pan, okay, I didn't lick the pan because that would be gross, but like I literally cleaned the pan out, and the best part is I finished this up and then literally a day later my order from Sephora came where I had ordered the NARS concealer, so it was like literally perfection. See, so, yeah, I literally used everything in this. I love the Bobbi Brown correctors. I don't know how I repurchased it because I feel like it's so similar to the benefit erase paste and I just think the benefit erase paste is like the same thing and I'm pretty sure it's cheaper if I go to a MAC warehouse sale though and they have my color which is light bisque I will definitely repurchase it because they're like $12 at the MAC warehouse sales um and then everything else is uh, kind of skin care-y so I finished up my sugar lip treatment SPF 15 this is the um sample you got for the happy birthday the other one I got in the sample, I put through the washing machine, so it died, and I was very sad about it, but yeah. I finished this up. It's okay. I honestly don't think I would repurchase it. I just think that it's just like an okay lip balm, and I just don't love it. It was like an okay lip balm. If it was a sample, a free sample, again, I'd probably pick it up, but I just didn't think it was all the rage like everybody else. Um, I finished up my Laura Mercier foundation primer. This is what this looks like. I'm the kind of person that always, well now, I always cut everything open because I've found that you just get so much more use out of a product if you cut it open. So I was, like, I could not get anything else out of this product. I cut it open and I had, I think it was a week and a half to two weeks of use still left inside here because it's like a thicker kind of like a moisturizing primer. So there was some stuck inside the lid, there was some stuck inside the bottom, like it literally was enough to last me almost two weeks. Cut your shit open, people. It's worth the money. You paid, like, this was, like, probably $40 Canadian, if not more. Worth it. Um, I, about the actual primer. I liked the primer. It was an okay primer. I don't know. Like, it did what it was supposed to do, but I I just kind of, like, have, like, a love for, like, more of those, like, silicone primers. I have dry skin, so for me, it really doesn't matter. It doesn't make, break me out or anything, but there's just something with the silicone primers I like more. I don't know what it is. I just feel like they smooth my skin out better. All like this. <laughs> <coughs> um, I finished up my Clinique Take Off the Day Makeup Remover for Lids, Lashes, and Lips. This is, again, a sample. I got this for $4 at the Estee Lauder Warehouse sale. Um, this was okay. I would not repurchase this, only because it leaves an oily residue. I think if you want to take your makeup off at night, this is great. It dissolves waterproof makeup like nobody's business. But I use it for cleanups in the morning because if you guys have ever seen, like, a Get Ready With Me video, you know that I get mascara everywhere all over my eyelid and I need to clean it up. And because it's left an oily residue, I always have to go over with, like, a wet cotton uh, Q-tip and, like, remove the oil, and it's just a pain in the butt. I used it up because I had it, but, yeah, definitely if you're one for, like, a nighttime remover, it's great because it removes makeup, and then you're going to wash your face anyways. But for a morning kind of a cleanup thing, it's a little too oily for me. Um, I finally finished up my Bobbi Brown Extra Repair Moisturizing Balm. I just want you to know that I hate this. I finished this up. I started using this. There's still just a little bit left in it. Not much. It smells, it smells good. It's kind of like lemony, fresh. It's nice. It's just, I bought this at the Estee Lauder Warehouse sale for $65, which is pricey, but I mean, it retails for $90 on the Bobbi Brown website, so God only knows what that would be in Canadian. 
um, and it's just like a really thick consistency of a moisturizer but the thing is that it, you can't just spread it on your face you have to warm it up in your fingers and then kind of press it onto your face and I don't know I don't like doing things in like special ways for special products especially when I didn't think it was like the holy grail of all moisturizers anyways it was just like okay and kind of a pain in the butt especially because it spread okay if your face was dry but I mean after you wash your face your face is going to be damp you just put your moisturizer on damp skin anyway so it was harder to spread it when your face was wet which is like stupid so yeah I finished this up I will never repurchase this I really really hated it um if you don't care I don't even know I can't even recommend this to anybody people rave about it on the Bobbi Brown I mean on the Sephora website and on Bobbi Brown but I just don't love it like if you have to Google how to use something, it's probably a pain in the butt. That's my rant. I've been waiting like months to rant about that. I used it in the winter because I figured it'd be like a deeper moisturizer, but I just, I just hated it. Um, so I also finished my Reversa Cleansing Micellar Solution. This is a little sample. I'm all about samples. It's probably why I have so much shit in this haul, or this video. I basically used this in the morning to cleanse my face. It was okay. I wouldn't repurchase it. It's expensive. My Marcel Cleansing Water does the exact same thing for $14. You get this at Shoppers, though, if you're interested. And I'm dropping things. Um, I finished up my... Well, I didn't really finish it up, but I used my Sensitive Skin Brush Head to death. It's, like, gross. Can you see how gross it is? Now this is the little sucker that kind of caused my life to be very difficult. It, I didn't wash it properly because I assumed that the soap in my bathroom, which I have in a little container so I can't see it, I can't like see the actual like label, was antibacterial because I would assume that all soap for the bathroom would be antibacterial because that's gross. And it wasn't. So I was like literally washing this with cleanser and with my antibacterial soap thinking it was antibacterial and it wasn't and I didn't wash it as much as I should. I have since bought antibacterial soap. It was a whole thing. But yeah, I finished this up. I do love my Clarisonic. I'm trying the delicate brush head right now, and I honestly don't know which one I like more. They're kind of tied in my world, but yeah, that's dead. Um, I am kind of almost finished my Marcel eyebrow pencil in Blondine. Um, it's a decent pencil. This is what the color it looks like. It's just too dark for my brows when my hair is like this this blonde and I just figure that I've become like a brow powder convert so I'm never going to use that again anyways and it's dead enough to be dead. And then the last thing I finished was my pomegranate concentrated serum by Living Source. This was a good serum. It's a nice thick serum. It smells great. It smells like pomegranate. I'm going to smell everything in this video. Don't you guys, aren't you guys jealous that you can't smell anything that I'm smelling? Because you should be. Um, but yeah, it smells great. It's like a thicker serum which I liked. Um, my only issues are I can probably never find this in store because I googled it and don't know where they sell it. And again, the whole, I just want to try all sorts of new things, so I probably wouldn't repurchase this immediately because I want to try all the new things. And the other issue is, I don't know if you can tell, but can you see that the writing is, the writing is rubbing off? So, um, when I'm trying to like tilt this to get all the bottom stuff out, there's a little bit left in the bottom, but it's hard to get out. I'm getting like the little like particles of like the red whatever it, the writing is on my hands and I'm rubbing it on my face thinking like what's on my face is that like a pomegranate like extract that I didn't notice and then I realized it's like the writing from the bottle rubbing off onto my face so that's a pain in the butt and that's everything that I used up over the last two months so I hope you guys enjoyed this and look forward to another one in another two months thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you later bye